this is a pre-calculus real world problem and specifically this is what would be called a, a parametric equation problem okay so what we have here is a kicker the football game attempts a field goal at 50 yards from the goal post the ball is on the ground and is kicked with initial velocity of 81 feet per second at an angle of 66 degrees the height of the crossbar on the goal post is 10 feet as shown in the diagram and so basically what you're looking at is a you have a horizontal distance of 50 50 yards and then you have a football being kicked from right here and you're kicking toward a goal post that has a height of okay, a goal post of 10 feet off the ground and so this ball is going to trace like this and the question is are we this is for the field goal to be good the ball must pass over the crossbar and between the uprights assuming the kick is straight and passes between the uprights which conclusion is true so let's go ahead and write a parametric equation and this is one where you're really you have some complexities one thing you have is you have 81 feet per second but you have the distance yards so if you multiply that yards by three you are uh, converting to 150 feet that's going to be key so the first equation is going to be an x equals well, x equals 81 and we have that little song our cosine is x and our sine is y application right here 81 cosine because this angle of incidence is going to be 66 degrees according to our problem here and that's what it says right up uh, angle of 66 degrees right here cosine 66 degrees and this is really key here T now the y equals there's a bit more complexity you have the 81 and but instead of the cosine 66 degrees we have sine 66 degrees t and also you have to, to take into account gravity the effects of gravity so that'll be negative 16 t squared and so yeah you can gather that from the acp formula chart but uh, this is something if it's easier if you just remember that and then you're kicking let's see the ball is on the ground so that's key too because initial height since you're on the ground you're going to be at an elevation of zero and that's key because if you have like a if it's a baseball hitting problem you're going to have how far off the ground is the ball when it leaves the player's bat baseball bat here zero off the ground so now we can just enter these in the calculator and that's kind of key how to do that so uh, so we first get a graph page and this is a TI Inspire CX calculator and then we go to menu 3 and 4 which is parametric and so the first one we have is equation is x equals 81 cosine 66 
and this is really key you are in radians or we're in radians here and by default our calculator will be in radians when graphing but we are given an angle of incidence of 66 degrees so we have to put a degree symbol and what you're doing when you put the degree symbol you're saying calculator I don't care what I don't care if this thing says radians here we're gonna make this thing degrees and so you force the units of degrees when you put that degree symbol if you don't put that degree symbol there you're gonna have problems and then you come down here to the next one we're gonna have the same thing but 81 in this case sine 66 again our degree symbol and we have T and minus 16 T squared and then we come down here to uh, T step and I recommend going point zero three one or put zero three one four this is going to be one hundredth of pi and this this just enables to take a quick uh, closer look at what's going on and again the y equation we don't have a plus something because the ball is on the ground so if we went up here we could put like plus zero right which is which is the ball on the ground but we won't do that at all so anyway we have this our uh, check and make sure everything's right we press enter and we see the initial part of the path of the, of the football except that we need to look at 150 feet away so you can just do graph trace from here I'm going to go ahead and put a window zoom and just window zoom and window settings X min negative 10 I'm gonna go up to we need to go 150 feet out I'm gonna put 160 feet to be sure and then we're tab down here Y min that's fine Y max uh, we'll put a height of I don't know 100 feet to get the path of the ball and there we have it so that that's going to be the the path of that football so now we need to do the analysis to see what happens to that ball to see if we do make a field goal or what happens let's see analyze graph oops trace I'll go trace graph trace here we go and one drawback of using that 0 0.031 is you have to it takes a lot of clicks to get over it so we're you can see the ball tracing upward and we're getting to a maximum height here of 80 something feet okay there we go 85 point something feet but we want to go we're looking at this x value you see this x value at 108 feet now we want to get to 150 feet what's going to happen at 150 feet because that's going to be 50 yards away so 139 40 Okay, 149, 150. Okay, our height is 4.73 feet at 150 horizontal feet. And so we need to have this be at least 10 feet to cross the crossbar. So the field goal kick is not going to be good. Now, if we, if we increase the velocity or change the angle, we can make the field goal will kick good but it's not going to be good so we look at the let's see the ball hits the ground before reaching the goal post no we have four point something feet so it's not going to hit the ground the ball passes under the crossbar so the field goal is no good so yeah that's going to be our answer uh, three the ball passes over the crossbar the field goal is good no that's not the case the ball hits the crossbar that would be a lucky shot so B is our correct answer because in looking at the analysis of our of our tr graph trace here we're at the elevation of 4.7 feet when the horizontal distance is 150 feet away so that's what we have to look at good luck on this and and all your other problems and thanks for viewing